Welcome. After Russia's forced retreat from the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson last week, both sides are calculating their next moves. With military analysts predicting fighting will harden in the east and towards Sea of Azov cities in the south. The next hotspots are expected to be near Donetsk in the eastern Donbass region, particularly near the cities of Bakhmut and Abivka, where combatants are already mired in fierce battles marked by intense artillery barrages and close-quarter combat, and in the south en route to the strategic cities of Melitopol and Mariupol. But a Western official cautioned that despite Ukrainian momentum, as we go into 2023, we are still expecting a grind, we are still expecting it to be largely static, and we still expect neither side to particularly win or lose. Russia is likely to renew its focus on the east following its pullback in the south, analysts say. The shift would echo the Kremlin's strategy after its forces retreated from Kiev in the spring, when Moscow declared a new phase of the war aimed at fully liberating the Donbass region where since 2014 Russia has fomented a war with the use of local proxy forces. Konrad Musica, of Rakhon Consulting, a Poland-based group that tracks the war, said that alongside its recent mobilization of about 300,000 troops, Russia's withdrawal from Kherson could play to the Kremlin's advantage, allowing it to move resources away from the south and boost its forces along the eastern front line. In February, Russia entered Ukraine with a low density of forces and opened up too many operational directions, probably assuming that attacks from the north, south and east would force Kiev into submission, Musica wrote in an analysis. As this plan did not materialize, Russian forces quickly became spread too thin. However, he added, with fewer territories under control, Russian force density will increase and Moscow will have more soldiers per square kilometer than since early March. Up to 50% of the Russian forces withdrawn from Kherson could be moved to other fronts, mainly in the Donbass, where Moscow has built significant new defensive positions, a Western official said. Kiev could also be forced to redirect troops from the south. Logically Ukraine has to redeploy additional troops to Donetsk province to not let the Russians succeed, said Alexei Melnik, a former Ukraine Air Force lieutenant colonel and now co-director of the Razumkov Center think tank in Kiev. Ukraine is struggling to push Russian forces back in Donetsk. There is fierce fighting near Avdiivka, the site of a large coke plant, and Bakhmut, which sits on a key highway and is a gateway to larger cities held by Kiev that serve as important military hubs. A soldier fighting in a Ukrainian special forces unit near Bakhmut described the battle as hell, with casualties mounting daily. It looks like something from the Second World War, like a staging ground for D-Day, he said, describing the battlefield as a mess of trenches, bunkers, tank traps, razor wire and artillery craters.